Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Monster Tamer News, the segment on this channel where we go over this week's happenings in the world of monster taming. Now, this week we have quite a bit of interesting information, including some new Anaton starter evolution forms, uh, some Nexomon news that isn't technically new per se, but has just come to my attention given the conclusion of the main story with my Let's Play series, and we've also got some Coralmon news that I'm really excited to announce, as well as some Kindred Fate stuff and a Monster Crown patch update and more. So, as usual, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with some Coromon news pertaining to our Monster Taming and Chill podcast, and that's that both Marcel and Jochum, the two main developers of Coromon, will be joining us on the podcast to talk about their project. If you'd like to leave a question, you can join the Monster Tamer Discord in the description and leave a comment in the Questions for Coromon Devs channel. The plan is to have the podcast out Friday afternoon in a pre-recorded format. In Kindred Fates news, Kindred Talk 7 featuring Ruffled Rowlet took place this past Friday, and the second half of the podcast actually featured some very interesting information, particularly that of which we had not previously known. We've learned that the player character in Kindred Fates will indeed have some type of weak melee attack, making a kinfolkless run possible. We've also learned that Cinderkinder is not going to be connected to the Auburn line, so my theory has just gone down the drain on that. And they've also teased an in-game ability that allows a kinfolk to hold three items instead of one. I'm really excited to see more information as the alpha grows near. The Temtem Twitter has teased an image showcasing a wolf, and the description reads, a howl echoes through the snow. Now for those of you who don't know, the Kisiwa update, aka Temtem's most recent update, was actually split into multiple patches. That's why despite Kisiwa supposedly having an abundance of neutral types, it only really added three to the game upon launch. This tweet we just saw is likely referencing the next patch that's going to include a snowy mountain that we actually see the entrance for, but can't access in the current update as of right now. My guess is that it's coming really soon. In Anaton's news, the Anaton's Discord server has officially revealed the middle stage evolutions for the starters, as well as the fact that the starters will have two different final evolution stages. There will be offensive and defensive versions, so with the offensive final forms, we see the fire type starter evolution and the nature type starter evolution that we've already come to know through previous reveals, but we do get a new water type evolution, and with the defensive forms, we see the water evolution that we already know, but we get a new fire and nature evolution. The devs are also holding a contest on Twitter to come up with a color scheme for Zapter, the recent Anaton that was featured in the naming contest. Check out their Twitter linked in the description for all the information. Monster Hunter Stories 2 was just announced for Nintendo Switch, and the Capcom YouTube channel showcased a cinematic trailer to celebrate. For those of you who don't know, Monster Hunter Stories is a spin-off franchise of the Monster Hunter franchise. It focuses on monster taming rather than, well, monster hunting. I'll definitely be covering this game moving forward. Leading up to the release of Costume Kingdom, Josh over at Stratton Studios has been showcasing new Hollowmon every day. At the end of all the reveals, I am going to do a video exploring each one in more depth, but here's a quick recap of who we've seen so far. Terturay, a water type, Chikolox, a fire type, Barabo, a plant or grass type, we don't have a name for that just quite yet, a Tartaros, a water type, Owly, a fire type, and Ram King, a what seems to be plant or grass type. They've also showcased a snippet of their retro shader mode, which looks quite nice. Monster Crown is updated to version 0.1.469. This patch chiefly focuses on bug fixes, with Content Pack 2 being worked on as well. Most notably, though, is the Move Orb for Equalizer now being available for purchase in the Crossroads Town Shop. Now, quick piece of Nexomon news that we teased earlier, the ending of Nexomon, and spoiler alert, officially references a sequel to the game. Now, this is definitely noteworthy given the success of Nexomon Extinction, and it seems that Nexomon could really become a franchise that's sort of a regular thing that comes out maybe every few years. This is exciting to me because it's going to give you a consistent experience, much like the Pokemon franchise does. In Abomination news, this week's Abami Spotlight features both Hamburble and Abami we've already seen, and its evolution Hammering. Hammering is said to evolve at a rather low level compared to its massive attack stat, and its ability raises its speed, defense, and special defense when hit by an incoming water attack. We also got some Ova Magica news. Claudia has showcased some new expressions for some of the characters that will be present in the upcoming tech demo in October. So the rest of this week's news is pretty small updates, so what we're going to do is we're going to rapid fire them off, and then I want to talk about a solo dev monster taming game that really caught my eye. So yeah, let's commence the rapid firing. Monster Sanctuary Twitter showcased a new way how you can talk to your familiar at any time. The Necromancer's GIF Discord server hosted a Q&A. I'm not going to talk in depth about this as I am actually working on a video going over it, but if it does interest you, definitely check out their Discord, linked in the description. 
Patch Quest Public Beta will be updated sometime this week. Moncraft Dev showcases a new monster vision system, so you'll be able to perform a little bit of stealth in the game. Mithrin Devs confirm that the three Mithrins we have seen up to this point being Raccoon, Karor, and Scowl are indeed the game's starters. Messin' in a Bottle Dev shows off a cool new toy feature that you can use to play with your monsters. And finally, before we jump into the new game, the Druggymon Dev showcases some druggy cries. Let's listen real quick. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about an unnamed project that was recently revealed over in the Monster Tamer World subreddit. This is a solo dev project and honestly looks really good. Looking at these graphics, it looks very professional. I'm extremely surprised that one person's working on this. We don't have a whole lot of info about the game other than these screenshots, but if you do want to uh, sort of follow the game, you can definitely follow Visionstead Studio on Twitter, which I'll link their Twitter in the description. Or if you come to our Monster Taming Discord, there is a Visionstead channel, and the channel will be updated to reflect the game's name once the game gets an official name. So yeah, guys, a pretty interesting week. There was some bigger updates and then a lot of smaller updates all that we sort of compressed together. But I think moving forward, this might be a format we have to take given the abundance of games. I'm currently keeping an eye out for 34 different monster taming games at any given time. Even games that I haven't yet talked about on monster taming news, I do have my radar out for. For example, uh, I've been waiting on the last monsters news. I've been waiting on some more news about the Minimon remake. I've been waiting on news about Creature Keeper, there's a lot that I, I'm going to continue covering, so just know that I'm always watching. If you have any suggestions in the comments, definitely leave them because, you know, the more monster taming games, the better. But yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, as usual, make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. Check out my subscriber Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.